Ah, what's up everybody? So, we're at the first snare and nothing, but that's pretty normal. You know, it takes a couple weeks for snares to produce for me. This one actually connected with something last night, but uh, they pulled it down and pulled it tight. Oh. We are walking back to check on the little corn pile I put out yesterday to see if anything's gotten to it today. Or, well, overnight. I normally don't film while I'm walking, but uh, I've already tripped like three times. So, hey, why not get ready for a fall cam? Watch, now that I'm recording, I won't trip again. It's right here. That's all corn. Doesn't look like anything's found it. I get asked all the time how I manage the cold and today our temperature is like 20 degrees and we've got 20 mile an hour winds gusts up to 20 mile an hour so let's go find a spot where we can sit and talk for a minute and I'll explain to you guys how I keep warm and keep my legs functional in this kind of cold because if you deal with spinal cord injury um, a lot of times, at least for me, if I get cold, my knees lock up and I can't walk anymore. So, um, guys, that's, that's an emergency. That's not just like tripping in the woods and something, you know, scraping your knee. When my legs lock up, I'm done. Well, when that happens, I got to get a fire going as fast as I can. I'm looking up to make sure there's no hay widow makers where I'm about to sit down. So, because of the high winds today. I don't want to get crushed. I want to make it home. Okay. Now that I'm all settled in. How you guys like my trapper hat? I love this thing. We took the, the faux fur, the fake stuff out, and I put coyote fur in it. And it's just so much warmer. So this is how I keep my head and my face warm while I'm out doing this stuff. If I'm not wearing a face mask. Take my glove off so I can get to my zipper here. When you're out walking around in the cold, layer up my coat. Which this is actually a pretty thin one. But it's my hunting coat. And this thing does great for me here in Ohio. Got a hoodie. A thermal base layer on. That's up top. It's cold, so I'm not going to drop my pants for you. But I'll explain what I have going on down there. I'm out walking around and running my trap line or I'm out hunting. What I do is I have... Okay, you always wear your regular underwear. Except for those who go commando. So I have merino wool. And then I have a pair of like fleece pajama pants. Hey, it works for me. Merino wool, fleece pajama pants, and then oh, yeah. See, I got snow and dirt on my knees from tripping. Yeah, just these are my. These are actually like Dickies construction carpenter pants some deal like that I've had them for five years now and these things have just taken a beating and they keep on going so they're they're real thick denim they're a heavyweight pant uh, there's no lining in them they're just like the fabric itself is heavy fabric as far as clothing that's what I wear now if I'm out if I'm out running my trap line or I'm out hiking through the woods 
you know, I'm constantly moving, so I'm always generating body heat like that, and that kind that tends to keep my legs warmer. When I go out and I'm hunting, I'm sitting. So my trick to that, and I don't, I didn't bring any of my gear with me today. I'm just out on a small 20-acre property, checking a couple snares and checking my corn pile. Um, if I'm out hunting and I'm sitting, I'll take like the hot hands body warmers, not not the hand warmers, not the toe warmers, the actual body warmer packs. They're like, I don't know, three by three inches or something like that. They're about this big. I'll put one of those over top of each kneecap underneath um, my pajama pants but over top of the merino wool. I like having them right on my skin because that heat get, that gets down to my toes and it makes my toes swell up and that's just a whole other story. How I keep my feet warm because I have circulation issues in my toes due to my surgery. Not complaining, explaining. Um, wool socks with a very thin pair of moisture wicking socks underneath. Okay, moisture wicking socks that are thin, my wool socks, and then I almost exclusively wear Danner Vital 800 boots because they are the lightest hunting boot that I've found. They manage to keep my feet warm. They're waterproof. Usually I'll walk through the heels of boots in a year. I've worn these ones two years now and I've not worn the heel off yet. So they're, they're very, very durable. Now my head's starting to sweat. Trapper hat. My grandma got me this thing a couple years ago. Um, and that's another thing guys if you start sweating take layers off you don't want to keep the sweat on your body because it will make you cold you will get hypothermia so yeah guys that's that, that's how I stay warm in the winter time when I'm out doing this kind of stuff oh, man that didn't last very long So yeah, you know, I, I hope this is a very short video, but this just how, without showing you guys all the fancy gear, because sometimes I don't think that's really needed in a video. You can get my explanation on things, but that's, that's how I stay warm while I'm out doing this stuff. Layer up, keep moving if you can, don't be afraid to rely on body warmers or hand warmers or toe warmers. If, if my feet start getting cold while I'm out hunting and I'm sitting, or even trapping, because if it gets down below like 15 degrees, my feet will get cold. Um, I'll take my boots off and put toe warmers in there. I, I don't, I don't look at body, I don't look at staying warm as not being a manly thing. Okay, I'm getting cold sitting here talking to you guys, so we're going to get moving and start heading back to the car. We had a real big temperature drop last night, so coons kind of stayed holed up. Um, I only had that one snare trip. And the other two, I think I only showed you guys two of them, but I've got three on this whole property. one snare trip so and the snow was on the ground this morning there was no snow last night so there was no prints for me to know what came through there probably a coyote or a fox where that trap where that snare is at <laughs> oh can you guys see this little trail in the snow there I come walking up and I'm like, oh wow, something was through here. No, that was me. I can't
can't show you guys the fall because I didn't have the camera on, but I can show you where I fell. Can you see the big spot right there? <laughs> Just remember, no matter what, pick yourself back up. That's what it's all about. You gotta keep going. You fall and lay down. That's giving up. I don't believe in giving up.